Hey everyone, my name is Petra and I am with For the People and Kids and this month we're celebrating autism awareness and acceptance. The book that I'll be reading today is called My Brother Charlie. It's written by Holly Rip, Robinson Peets, and Ryan Elizabeth Peets with pictures by Shane W. Evans. My Brother Charlie. We've always been together, even in mommy's tummy, my twin brother Charlie and me. We still share lots of things, curly hair and brown eyes, how much we love hot chocolate and marshmallows, our dog Harriet, rolling in the grass, music, football, and names that start with the letter C, Callie and Charlie. But being twins doesn't make us exactly the same. I'm two minutes younger than Charlie. I can stare for hours at the Big Dipper and the moon, and I love to talk. Charlie is skinnier and goofier than me. He hates math. When he looks at the sky, he finds jets and helicopters, and sometimes my brother gets very quiet. When we were babies, I pointed out flowers and cats and fireflies. I snuggled and giggled with mommy on dark nights and told mommy again and again how much I love her. But Charlie was different. He wouldn't play with me or kiss mommy's cheeks when she hugged him, and he didn't say I love you. Seems those words were locked deep inside my brother. Everyone told mommy not to worry. He's just being a boy, they said. But mommy knew there was something different about Charlie. I knew it too. As we grew older, mommy watched Charlie very carefully. She and I could see he was struggling. Then mommy discovered that Charlie's brain works in a special way because Charlie has autism. It's harder for Charlie to make friends, or show his feelings, or stay safe. One doctor even told Mommy that Charlie would never say I love you. That made Mommy and me saddest of all. I have learned from Charlie that love doesn't always come from what you say. It can also come from what you do. And so we do right by Charlie. We love Charlie strong. We watch over him with the might of angels. We have to. When Charlie wants something, nothing stops him, even when it's dangerous. And there are days when it's hard to be Charlie's sister. Sometimes he can ruin the best playdates. Other times, he seems so far away, like when he won't look at me, or speak, or play. I wish I could crawl inside Charlie's world to move things around for him and for me. I know Charlie wants to be in my world, fitting in, making friends, having fun, and laughing. There are good times with Charlie, too. When Charlie looks right at me and welcomes me with his smile, he lets me touch his face. He laughs when we lock fingers in a holding hands game. That's Charlie's I love you, said in the silly ways we play together. Charlie is good at so much. He knows the names of all the American presidents. He's a fish in the water. He has a special way with animals, especially Harriet. When Harriet and Charlie are together, there's even more I love you said in the way only Charlie can when he gets Harriet to sit, run, or listen. Charlie's got a mind that tests things. Shoelaces, paper clips, apples, pine cones, and he enjoys sharing. He likes to show off his shell collection, his new sneakers, and how well he plays Itsy Bitsy Spider on the piano. Charlie likes to share how sweet he is and how much he cares about other people. When I fall off my bike or bump my head, Charlie comes running. He always makes my hurts feel better with the caring that comes from his eyes. Sometimes when Charlie can find the words, when they unlock themselves from inside him, he does say I love you. I will always remember the first time I heard him say it, so clear and kind, so Charlie. I banged my toe hard and cried. There was my brother, patting my back, saying over and over again, Don't cry, Callie. I love you. It wasn't just the words that were so strong. It was the love that Charlie showed me just by being there. I love you too, Charlie. Came from me fast. Charlie has autism, but autism doesn't have Charlie. 
If you ever get to meet my brother, you'll feel lucky to be his friend. He won't care if you have the coolest sneakers or if you are the best at sports. He'll just like you for who you really are. That's Charlie. I'm blessed to be Charlie's sister and to share so much. I count my Charlie blessings every day. At the very top of my Charlie blessings list is the love Charlie and I have for each other. Said in so many ways. The end. So you might recognize Holly Robinson Pete's name because she's an actress. Um, and in real life, she does have twin children, boy and a girl, and her son has autism. And so this was based on their real life experience, um, having a son and a brother with autism. And she got to write this book with her daughter. And so I just think it's so beautiful because uh, they really accept their son for who he is. You know, in the story, Charlie has many differences, but they also have very many similarities between each other. And um, as a sister, to, to not get discouraged by the fact that maybe he can't express his feelings all the time the way she wants him to, she just accepts who he is and recognizes that he does share his feelings, it's just in a different way. And so I think that's just such a wonderful message in general for um, autism acceptance is to acknowledge that you know autistic people are experiencing the world in a different way and we need to just be supportive of that in order to create a welcoming environment for them um, so i just i really love this book and i hope that you are able to check it out and read it to your kiddos um, and just a reminder that you do get a discount through word up bookstore um, if you're interested in grabbing a book so thank you so much for listening